That is exactly, exactly what I feared. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey guys, we're out here in Locks today. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a few things about fear and how to stop fear from getting in the way of you learning new tricks on skis. In this video, I'm going to attempt learning Switch Tails 270 on a high-ish down rail. This is a trick I fear because back in the season of 2010 to 11, and that's uh, eight years ago, my little brother was learning this trick and it was like this thick rail. He was uh, at hitting it with pretty high speed. So he pops, he's about to start at 270 when a tail gets stuck right under the rail tipping his entire body and he clears almost the whole rail and lands on the side slash the ribs like or just below the ribs at the end of the rail. He was laying there trying to breathe for the next 10 minutes or so. I've never seen a person in that much pain ever and that sort of killed my motivation to learn this trick. So Enough is enough. I'm not going to let fear hold me back anymore. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to break away the fear I have of this trick. Hopefully. To overcome our fear, we need to reframe it. I see fear as a very useful feeling. It's a feeling that tells me that I'm not ready to send it yet. It's a feeling that, let's say it's 50% chance I'm going to land it. That's not good enough for me. Because I do not want to hurt myself. And now we're going to learn switch tails. There's a couple of things I fear. You can rotate too early, getting them tails stuck. You can jump too low or not jump high enough. You can have the same bad result. And you can be too close to the rail. And the uncertainty here that I may mess up on one of these three things is what making me scared. So I'm one by one going to remove these uncertainties by practice these things and make sure that I know it on safer features first before attempting the scary down rail, hopefully at the end of the video. For me to get these switch tails on, let's start reducing the fear I have for the following things. When I come in switch, pop on it, I could land with too much weight on the uphill ski. Slide out, crash in the hip, don't like it. So first thing I want to practice that in the small box. Then I'm going to increasingly make it harder and harder. So we're going to remove the fear for landing too like uphill heavy. I'm going to reduce the fear of choosing the wrong line and being too close to the feature, making the tails get stuck. Remove the fear of rotating too slowly, get the rail between my legs. And this way, by the time we get to this scary down rail, I'll hopefully feel confident that I'll land it first try. Let's see how it goes. I felt all right, I landed with loads of weight in the front foot, so I'm pretty confident I can do a switch tails too onto this box. Oh, that wasn't so good. Landed on the uphill foot. Despite I thought I would definitely not do that. I think I'm overthinking, like I'm trying to lift the tails too high. And that's screwing it up. But it was also rotating a bit too slow. Just try again, and then I'm gonna look at the video and see if I can start, find some errors with my switch tails too. Oh, so I just had a look at the video. Wow, <laughs> I took a bit more speed just to make sure I'd clear the rotation and clear the obstacle with the tails. Um, I feel like I am a little bit too fast with rotating the tails. I'm going to try to leave them behind a little bit and let them catch up in the air. So I don't rotate the tail into the rail later on. See how that goes. Otherwise it's feeling pretty good. So now I basically have no fear of uh, 
being too back seated and slide out like I almost did in my first attempt. Um, now I'm rotating the tails a little slower and it looks like my tails are going to be way over even in a high rail. Um, so the fear is going down but I'm not so psyched to do it on these next two features. I gotta get rid of the fear of rails too because rails are somewhat unpleasant to crash on. So I'm gonna make sure not to crash on them and do exactly like I did. Yeah, so that was the first attempt on the down rail. I felt like on the drop in how a wee bit of that fear came back that I have spent yeah, eight years refining. So that made me try to really lift the tails up, which led to being yeah, landing a little bit like up, uh, uphill ski heavy. So, but the tails would have been fine anyway. So I'm just gonna try to do it normal this way, like I did on the box and I think it would be good. Maybe a little bit more distance between me and the rail as well. After looking at the video from that, it was a bit better. Still landed a little bit uphill, ski heavy. Um, but I'm still feeling a little bit of fear of the uncertainty or like the distance between me and the rail. But I think that's fine. I should just stop being so hungry at rotating the skis so early. I sort of want to leave the skis straight and start rotating with the upper body, lift the skis up and then let the skis catch up basically with the upper body. I think that's the way to do it. So I'm going to try this small rail at least one more time. I think that's it. That felt good. I, I could feel I was leaving the tails just a little bit behind. It gave me a bit of a safer, safer feeling within. I'm going to see if I can do it just as well another time. All right, now I've proven to myself twice in a row that I can do it. And that felt good. So I'm gonna go for this higher rail now. If I felt less secure, I would first do a switch tails on. But since I'm feeling like at least 90% sure, I will stomp it first try. So I'm just gonna go for it. But before you go for a trick like this, it's a good idea to like close your eyes, look over your shoulder or, or whatever you're gonna do. Like imagine how you're gonna hit it, pull out the legs and land on the rail. Visualize it. It's the safest form of practicing a new trick. Pros does it, as can the Regetli and many others, they do it all the time. So the fear came back a little bit to me on the top, but more in the form of excitement than actual fear of hurting myself felt sure like I'm landing this but I think this fear messed up my technique and I like rotated the feet and skis a little bit too quickly it looked like the right ski was a little bit close to the edge of the rail so I'm gonna try to do it more like before now when I know that even with less good technique I could do it so let's try that So that attempt was better in terms of like not rotating the tails too quickly and lifting them up felt good. But I'm still like not landing on top of the rail, I'm more landing into it, uh, which I could adapt by either getting closer to it or jump further, but the rail is too short. So I'm, I think I'm actually gonna be okay with landing into it here because on the bigger rail, I'm gonna have more speed basically means I'm going to land further down and then I'm going to land on top of the rails instead of into it. So I think one more try and then we're going to try some bigger features. This is the goal for today. The rail is really high. Feels like it's going to be pretty hard to get the tails over. It's really long and it's pretty narrow so it sucks to crash on it and that is what I fear. So uh, yeah, let's first practice smaller features first and get the hang of this trick. If 
I'm getting really quite warmed up on this trick on the small features. So now I'm gonna try this mailbox because like the radius of the thingy is pretty big, so crashing on it is somewhat comfortable compared to a really thin rail. Ah, bro! After looking at that shot, I'm really not getting them tails up the way I want to, nor landing on top of the rail, I land into it. So I'm gonna to try to correct both these problems at once. Lift, rotate them late, and uh, like land perfect. I'm gonna visualize first and then send it. It's so long. Wow. It's so flat. I don't fear that rail really anymore. It's more like a feeling of excitement and that I, I think I may have it. May take a couple of tries in case I don't land on top of it. But I don't think my initial fears like spinning too slow is going to be a problem or landing too back seated or being too close. Maybe too close. It's not so wide. The jump, I'd like it to be wider so that I have a small f uh, fear of. But my strategy is just to do a sort of practice and take even more speed, pay attention to them tails, and I think it should be all right. <laughs> that was unlike me. When you made your mind up, don't chicken out. But I'm not sure if I actually chickened out. I was pretty far from the rail. I wouldn't land on it. So I sort of abandoned ship. Never abandon. Always do what you rehearse to do. <laughs> this time I'm going to take a, a different angle all the way. Just a little bit more towards the rail. <laughs> Woo! Oh. So just took a slightly different line, more towards the rail, all the way from the top. That worked. I'm gonna do that even a little bit more. And a little bit more pressure from the like, left leg in this case. I think I can do it. Ah! 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 I thought I'd get it so much faster. So, my thinking is basically, I have a lot of speed obviously, just to make sure the tails are not gonna touch and I'm somewhat far away, but my angle is too straight and I can never land on the rail. Like I don't feel the sense of fear anymore, but I think the sense of fear is within me and blocking me from taking the angle or be as close as I need to, to really get it down. And I just got so sweaty and a bit frustrated. But uh, I'll get it. Oh, I don't know if it counts, man. That was so close. Oh, one more. Damn it, that was close. So there I did two things. Aligned more towards the rail and I was closer to the rail. So now I'm gonna do more or less the same, but a little bit closer to the rail. crash because I was so stubborn I wanted it. <laughs> Just what I feared. Ah oh, damn it. Ah uh, that is exactly exactly what I feared. And when it happens again or happens to you it's important to I had to go back to small rails and start practicing there again. But I want to get this, I know I have it. So I'm just going to get it back up on that horse right now. See if we can get it. Ah. Oh, the relationship between the rail and me was a bit strained in the beginning. Sort of feared her. She's getting a bit more loose. She tried to hurt me 
twice. But I'm alright, so I get it. <laughs> alright, now, now is the time, I feel it. The strategy with the speed is gonna pay off. Skip most of the rail. <laughs> Kiss the rail that shit. Oh. Counts, man. That counts, man. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Well, I st I think I stayed on the rail until the end. It wasn't clean. Oh, wow. So what we learn here? I've learned to overcome the fear. That's often a big obstacle. Now, when I've done that, it's gonna be pretty easy to overcome the technical issues I have. I don't like my takeoffs. I don't like most things, but I decided that I think I could do it anyway. So the wise thing now to do is to go back to small boxes, smaller rails, practice there where I feel safer. Gonna make sure that those tails come off and land nicely. Wow, thank you for watching this video. It was somewhat sick to make it. First time I really challenged myself for like, I don't know, two years maybe. I'm so busy making videos so you guys can challenge yourself. Uh, like and subscribe and if you want to come here to Locks and learn with me you can join one of our camps or make a good really detailed online course for your beginners to get the foundations of freestyle skiing down. Wow now I'm gonna go for lunch I am knackered. See you next video. Good job, good. Good Thank job. you. See you in the next video. Oh,